Okay, so we're doing our production budget. Starting off again, budget one is the sales budget. Budget two is your production budget. Number three is your, A is your raw materials usage. Number four is your raw materials purchases. Then you have your labour budget, you have your overheads budget. Now the next three, very, very simple, you don't have anything to do with them, they're just going to give you figures. You have an administration budget. If you think of where do you come across as main before, it's in your profit and loss count. You have S&D, that's also in your profit and loss count. So it's all your admin expenses, it's the office manager who would run this. Your S&D budget is your S&D expenses, and it would be your sales manager who would run that. And then you have your capital budget. If you think of the word capital, capital is where you would spend money on things that would last a long time. So that would be your fixed assets. So capital expenditure, purchase of a fixed asset. Again, it's your board of directors who would make that decision whether you're going ahead with the purchase of a fixed asset or not. Now, number 10 is your master budget. So you can imagine the master is taking all the budgets into account. So depending on if you're a manufacturing account, sole trader or company, You'd have a budgeted manufacturing account, budgeted trading account, budgeted profit and loss account, and budgeted balance sheet. Okay, and there's only one last part left in this question.